Good evening, everyone. There it is. Happy Sabbath. Oh, I am so grateful that it is the Sabbath. We can just put our week away and focus solely on God for 24 hours. Nothing interrupts that. Um, I am excited for that, and that's one of my favorite things about the Sabbath. Ignore everything else, but focus on God. Uh, we have a special treat, as you can see behind me. Castle Valley is here uh, to give us uh, a little treat of music. Um, I wish every Sabbath we could have music instead of me standing up to preach. That would be fantastic. Uh, but tonight we have that treat. Uh, so we do want to welcome you guys uh, to, to Grand Junction, and thank you so much for coming out and being here with us and giving us this treat. Uh, but before we begin, let's go ahead and bow our heads for a word of prayer. Father God, Lord, we just thank you so much for this opportunity to come together as a family in you, God, and to listen to some music and to just be able to focus on our relationship with you all, and to be able to focus on who you are. And Lord, recently I have just been thinking of your title, I Am. And that is just an amazing name that you have. So we just thank you for this opportunity to come together. May we be blessed this evening. We pray these things in your name. Amen.
change us through and through. We have come with open hearts, oh let the ancient words impart. We have come with open hearts, oh let the through tough and hurtful times. I believe that God's word is our guide and Jesus is always right there next to us. Amen. And so I believe that actually we are living in the most exciting time of all. And I uh, hope for our songs and our messages to be able to come through to all you guys and for it to encourage and guide all of us. Open my heart and let me prepare Love without 
children thus to share. Silently now I wait for thee, ready, my God, thy will to see. Open my heart, illumine me, Spirit divine. Amen.
exciting time of all. There was David and Jonathan, Peter, James, and John. Everyone I met was the same. They wanted me to tell about the final days on earth, living through the most exciting time of all. They said you gave it all. You were all in, always faithful to answer the call. You never compromised when life was all on the line, living through the most exciting
sharing the word of God in our songs and then sharing it to all you guys and for the world. All right, so this is the part of the concert where we want to get to know you all a little bit better by asking some questions. All righty, so the first question is, what is your guys' social security number? I mean, uh, sorry. Um, <laughs> That's not the first question. The first question is, <laughs> how many, uh, which of you has lived here in this area the longest? Let's start out with five years. Anybody for five years? Five years? Um, how about six years? Six years? Uh, anybody for seven years? Seven years? How about, let's put it to ten. Ten years? How about fifteen? Keep going up. Thirty? Fifty. Wow. Down a little bit? How about forty-nine? <laughs> forty-nine? Uh, how about thirty? Thirty years? Thirty-five. Thirty-five. Uh, anybody for forty? Forty. 40, okay. Looks like we got a winner right there. Um, our ushers, 57. 57. 57. Okay, anybody, any can, anybody can be 57? Raise your hand. No? Okay, so right over there. 
with the Make red sure you keep your hand up. I think they got you. So, is it the purple dance? Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah. So what they, uh, what our ushers just brought to you is some purple potatoes, and they're organic and they're uh, freshly harvested, or they're harvested from our school oh, by all by all our all the students. Sorry. All right. So uh, our second question is, how many instruments? Do you guys play, or how many instruments have you guys played before? Who's played the most instruments? <laughs> Me personally, I've only played two instruments. That is the French horn and the ukulele. And I play violin and mandolin and a little bit of piano, but that doesn't really count. So who here has at least played one instrument? All right. What about three instruments? Four, four instruments? Five instruments? <laughs> And we here play five instruments. I think we had three in the back. So was it three or four back there? Was it four? Four. <laughs> three? <laughs> All right. Just put your hand up. Make sure you raise your hand, and our usher will bring you some. And there's some more of our potatoes. Um, they're organic, and we grow them on our on our farm at our school. All right. So the next question that we have for you guys is, who has the most pets? I have a cat, a dog, and a horse. And I have eight pets. I have three birds and five dogs. <laughs> All right, so let's start with just two pets. Most people have two pets. You have two pets, raise your hand. You got two right there. Anybody for three? Three pets? How about four? Still got a hand up over there. Five? Six? How about six? You have six pets? How many pets do you have? Six? Twenty-five. Wow. Would, would you mind naming what kind of what kind of animals you have? I have horses, chickens, dogs, cats, and Oh wow! All right. So raise your hand, and our usher will bring you a prize. It looks like and she's bringing you some more of our organic potatoes. <laughs> oh wow! And for our, our fourth question, or the last question, I guess. Uh, who here has been married the longest? And I haven't been married at all. So. <laughs> has anybody here been married at least five years? All right, let's go 15 years. Let's make a big joke. 15 years. Oh, wow, that's a lot of hands. All right, 25 years. 35 years. All right, it's 45 years. Oh, okay. 55 years? 65. 70 years. 80 years? 70? 70 years and a half. Let's have a hand for that wow. one. Wow. <laughs> she's not here tonight. Uh, she's a fresh. Oh. Oh. Okay. So well. it's been really fun getting to know you guys. And now we want to tell you a little bit about us and our school. So at our school, we have a huge passion for outreach, and we want to share, share the good news with everyone that we possibly can. And one of the ways that we do that is we go canvassing um, every other Tuesday, and we take great controversies to every door, and we talk to people, or we leave them at the door. And also inside the great controversies, we have a little slip that invites them to a Bible study that we're doing. Every Monday. Every Monday every night. Every Monday night. And we are, all of us are learning how to give Bible studies. So we have the opportunity to give Bible studies over Zoom, which allows people from anywhere to join from their homes. So yeah, we're really excited about that. Yeah, that's awesome. And some of the things that we do on campus, and some of the trips we make outside of campus as well, but some of the things we do on campus is we like to go horseback riding, uh, four-wheeling, and a lot of other things, squatting, uh, dirt bike riding, and we even have a pond we can, you know, swing off a rope into it, so. And uh, we actually just recently went ice skating and skiing the first time. And we're actually planning to go skiing again. Now me, I'm more of a snowboarding kind of person. I like to, I like to just sit on the bunny hill the entire time. You know, I'm not a big, I'm not more of an, I'm not really an adventurous guy when it comes to snowboarding. I like snowboarding too, but I'm more of the adventurous type. Yeah. So who here thinks that skiing is better than snowboarding? If you would raise your hands. <laughs> All right, one, two. Three, all the people I'm gonna have to talk to after this to try to find <laughs> <laughs> Alright. 
Well, um, yeah, so we do a lot of fun stuff at our school, and we also have a beautiful guest house, and we'd love to have you guys come visit us anytime. And so we hope to look forward to seeing you, and we hope you enjoy the rest of our concert. And right now, we'd like to invite our director up to have a look. Well, thank you, Blake and Emma. Yes. Thank you all for coming, too. It's really a pleasure to be here tonight. And I just have the opportunity at this point to invite you to join in by supporting our school if you'd like to. And so we'll share some music while our young people wait on you. And if you'd like to help with the projects at our school and help us keep out sharing the gospel like we're doing tonight, we would appreciate it. Thank you so much. Today's a very special day because one of these young men singing away, it's his birthday. So we want you to join us in singing him happy birthday to Micah.
when you saw the day he rose to retain the title. Tell me out loud, he is higher than the highest, greater than the great. No one will ever take his power away. He is mightier than the mightiest. He reigns from.
God is truly the only way to go. Amen? Amen. Even though life on this earth may be short, if we accept the love that Jesus has poured out for us, we can spend eternity with him in a place where happiness will only continually increase. Will you choose this today? Choose life. Choose Jesus. Choose eternal happiness. It is my hope that this song will become your prayer. Meet with us as it were at Calvary. Thank you again for coming. It's been a real pleasure to share with you tonight. Won't it be wonderful to talk about Calvary for eternity? Let's stand together and we'll pray if you would, please. Heavenly Father, thank you 
for sending your son Jesus to die for us. Thank you for being at the cross beside him as he suffered and for caring for us more than we can ever know. We look forward to living in eternity with you by your grace and because of your great love. And so today, Lord, we just pause to give our lives to you one more time and to ask you to do something for us every minute and every hour of every day. Go with us and thank you for these precious Sabbath hours and the blessing we look forward to as we worship with you more tomorrow. And we pray all of this because of Jesus in his precious name. Amen.